to the globalization of large business, royal families possessed all of the world's riches. Despite the fact that these families have vanished into history, their magnificent architecture has endured. Today, we're taking a peek inside the 10 most expensive castles in the world. Welcome to Unleash Billions, the channel dedicated to exploring the lives and business strategies of the most successful entrepreneurs and business leaders in the world. So join us as we uncover the secrets of the billionaires and learn how you can unleash your own success. Let's get started! Number 10. Topkapi Palace In the 15th and 16th century, Ottoman sultans lived in the Turkish castle which is still appropriate for a monarch more than 400 years later. This opulent palace, which looks out over the stunning Bosporus Strait, is now a museum. It is unquestionably a must-see destination if you ever travel to Turkey and was named a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1985. Royals had plenty of space to relax and amuse themselves at Topkapi, which featured four courtyards, an ornate gate, and a harem. An exhibition of intricately crafted Ottoman armor and weapons is currently on display at the ancient imperial treasury. Topkapi is unquestionably one of the most opulent castles in the world, especially when you add an aviary and enormous flower gardens. Number 9. Stirling Castle The Scottish town of Stirling, which bears its name, is dominated by Stirling Castle. In the past, the stronghold was built on Castle Hill so that its occupants could keep an eye out for enemies. Several Scottish kings and queens lived at the castle during the 15th and 16th century, but it is today a popular tourist destination. In 1490, the first Stirling Castle structures were erected. The kings James IV, James V, and James VI utilized it as the main royal center. The new structure's architecture displays a fusion of German, French, and English styles. These kings must have had excellent taste because this military fortification is well known for its stunning architecture more than 500 years later. The castle has an elegant fireplace, refurbished bedrooms, and a tapestry gallery thanks to a 12 million pound renovation project. Stirling Castle now serves as a location for musical performances. In their performance films, musicians including Bob Dylan, Rem, and Rod Stewart have used the castle as a backdrop. Number 8. Elts Castle Elts Castle, which was first built in 1137, protrudes prominently from a German woodland close to Trier. The Holy Roman Empire and the Lords of Elts resided in the Romanesque castle. The local archbishop's rule was contested by this royal family, and the diocese launched a two-year siege. Although this resilient fortress has seen numerous battles, it still retains its allure and grandeur almost a thousand years later. Elts is now a museum, just like most contemporary castles. The treasury, which houses objects made of gold, silver, and porcelain, as well as the armory, which houses weapons and armor, are favorites among visitors. Over the years, the dynasty controlled many different properties, but the 1800s saw a significant decline in their fortune. In actuality, a large number of Elts immigrated to America in the 1700s, and some even fought in the Revolutionary War. Number 7. Windsor Castle William the Conqueror invested this accumulated fortune at Windsor Castle in the 11th century. The English palace is still the world's oldest and biggest inhabited castle. Windsor Castle is still in use as the royal residence in contrast to many of the other castles on the list. Windsor is allegedly a favorite weekend destination for Queen Elizabeth II. The British royal family hosts foreign heads of state on a regular basis so they may show off their breathtaking castle and gardens. The lovely trees that surround the palace are one of my favorite characteristics. One of Europe's oldest broadleaf woods is in this area. Originally used as hunting grounds, they are now utilized for farming, recreation, and relaxation. A 2017 assessment estimated the value of Windsor Castle to be around $236 million. Of course, this is hardly the royal family's most expensive residence. The worth of Buckingham Palace alone is around $5 billion. Number 6. Chateau Chambord Undoubtedly one of France's most opulent homes is Chateau Chambord. The building process started in 1519 and was finished in 1547. 
It was initially constructed as a hunting lodge for Francis I and eventually transformed into an exquisite palace. Through the 1700s, the French aristocracy was renowned for amassing riches, which contributed to the French Revolution, during which the country's starving populace ousted the royal family. Following that, many of Chateau Chambord's belongings were either sold or stolen. It is impossible to choose Chateau Chambord's most opulent feature, but guests are currently in awe of the twin stone spiral staircases that connect the first and second floors. A 13,000-acre park and game reserve with native red deer and other wildlife surrounds the castle. Today, Chateau Chambord draws more than 700,000 tourists a year to its prominent tourist attractions. Number 5. Himeji Castle Himeji Castle is regarded by many as the best illustration of traditional Japanese castle building. Walking around the grounds of Himeji Castle is wonderfully peaceful even though it was constructed for battle. Himeji Castle, which was first constructed as a fortification in 1300, has been named a national treasure of Japan. Only five constructions have this distinction and it is one of them. The 533-hectare sized castle structure is extraordinarily massive and is covered in fir and Japanese cypress trees. It has been prominently featured in both European and Japanese movies such as the James Bond film You Only Live Twice and the Kagemusha and Bran films by Akira Kurosawa. Over 2 million people visited the castle annually in 2015. Any travel scheduled to Japan must include it. Number 4. Edinburgh Castle This ancient castle keeps a watchful eye over present-day Edinburgh, Scotland. Numerous wars took place there, including the Jacobite Uprising of 1745 and the Scottish Independence Wars in the 1400s. The castle has experienced at least 26 sieges throughout the course of its 1100-year history, making it the most attacked castle on earth and the most often besieged stronghold in the United Kingdom. The palace is visited by more than 70% of tourists who stop in Edinburgh, who among you would genuinely regret missing this castle while on vacation. The former king's crown, scepter, and sword are housed in the complex of the royal palace which also houses elaborately painted ceilings from the 1600s. The more than 2 million tourists each year can take in historical reenactments of previous conflicts as well as customs and music that are unique to Scotland. This ancient castle maintains a classical legacy and serves as a reminder of its former life as a defensive fortification thanks to a time signal that has been in operation since 1861. Number 3. Versailles Palace Versailles was merely a modest hunting lodge with a moat prior to 1961. One of history's most lavish mansions, it later served as the center of French imperial power. Ornate chandeliers, silver and gold are all over the fabled Hall of Mirrors. When accounting for inflation, PBS claims that the price of the palace could have reached $3 billion. Each salon on the resort is decorated around a different Greek god. For instance, the formal bedroom of the monarch, where he was attended to, dressed, and fed with the richest meals, was located in the Salon of Mercury. More tourists visit Versailles each year than even the Eiffel Tower at roughly 8 million. Number 2. Malbork Castle German Teutonic Knights built Malbork Castle in the 13th century, but Bohemian mercenaries sold it to King Casimir IV of Poland in 1457 to help pay for the 13 years' war. Polish monarchs lived there until 1772 when Germans retook control of the fortress. The palace is a Polish historical landmark that is situated in present-day Poland and will be protected for many years. Many royals have journeyed by boat and taken opulent river cruises throughout history from this location on the northwest bank of the river Nogat during the mild Polish summer. Polish amber is very well known. Number 1. Neuschwanstein Castle Bavaria is home to Neuschwanstein, another castle in Germany. If this magnificent building looks familiar, it's likely because Walt Disney used it as the inspiration for the castle from Sleeping Beauty at Disneyland. It is undoubtedly one of the most recognizable structures on earth and was a nominee for the new Seven Wonders of the World. According to conservative estimates, the castle would cost $950 million today. Due to its perch atop Mount Sailing, the highly styled castle was intended to impress visitors from all over the world. It can be seen clearly in every direction for many miles. Visitors can now wander through the castle's countless hallways and courtyards. And I assure you that this location is generally appropriate for a king. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Unleash Billions. Which castle is your preferred one? If any, which one would you choose to call home? Please share your thoughts in the section below. 
And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Remember, success is within your reach, so unleash your inner billionaire. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.